collective i have a message for someone out there that may be dealing with a taurus pisces libra but strong on libra libra energy um this is going to be about your love life okay and some type of realization or epiphany that someone is having in regards to you they have come to some type of conclusion that it's not only about love it's about like like does this person actually like the person that they're with i was seeing something on tiktok where there was a guy saying that when a man likes the woman that they're with that woman won't have to won't have to coach that man or prompt that man to do what he knows he's supposed to do he will just do it and it's only because he likes her so whether you're in the same sex relationships or um or not this is just pretty much saying there's a dynamic where someone feels as if they are unable to be with someone that's on their same vibration okay someone has strong libra gemini aquarius strong aquarius energy very single energy and even though they may be with someone going through a bad breakup or wanting to break up with someone it's a negative experience that you or someone else is currently uh dealing with and they feel like they want to swing from the chandelier okay i'm here is this sia i'm not naming for name sia bia but it's that energy where it's like someone wants to get out of a situation even if it means that they have to be single by themselves or alone all right so let's see I do feel like this person has love for whoever they're involved with. They're just not on the same spiritual vibration. Okay. Hmm. Two faced in reverse. Somebody is no longer able to trick another person, like pretending to be someone that they're not antisocial at the bottom of the deck so we have this this person that is either you're antisocial or they are antisocial okay either you're in your feelings or they're in their feelings but there's no communication here no contact here i'm seeing a libra with a pisces with the low vibrational pisces to be more specific if this is not about a Libra and a Pisces or a Taurus mixed with a Libra and a Pisces, then this is confirming that someone wants to be fair and just with the Libra energy. Come clean about something. Living a double life. They feel stuck with one person. They know they've been living a double life. They chose. This is somebody that I feel like chose another person over you because they were more extroverted they were more outgoing they look better on their resume okay but i feel like this person genuinely likes talking to you Gen genuinely likes being around you it's easy for this person to do that and so this person is pretty much telling to avoid this person getting upset with them or being salty with them they're trying to bow out bow out gracefully from a relationship have a peaceful resolve a peaceful breakup so like this person's not communicating to you it's a bad time for this person right now because they have a lot of secrets mm -hmm. there's a lot of secrets about somebody that's coming to the forefront so they're not talking to you and they're not talking to someone else and they're spiritually disconnecting with you because they can't really entertain another relationship right now. I feel like this person is ultimately not ready, but they haven't blocked you. Um, they haven't put you on do not disturb. They're just not initiating some type of conversation because they're dealing with a very clingy person. 
Now, all of this energy wouldn't be coming up unless it was significant for you to know it. I don't know whether or not this is because spirit is encouraging you to move on or wanting you to see the whole picture in regards to a person, especially if someone has left you with questions or they've they've gaslighted you in some way and you're not sure where you stand with this person um i feel like spirit wants you it's like overlooking this entire situation and wanting you to see the truth about someone's character they may not try to portray themselves as this part about themselves to you but they are they they have a double life and i feel like it's difficult for this person to live a double life because the person that they're dating is very I feel like this person the person that they're dating or they're with is aggressive or they they go through their phone they look at things so they have to be very meticulous about hiding stuff and so they try not to leave a paper trail this person doesn't even know that they've they're back to doing some type of old dance that they used to do with somebody else mm. they've done this before could have been married before in a long-term relationship before with somebody um have children with somebody huh they don't want someone to file paperwork against them i don't know what for they're trying to have some type of level up in their life okay there's a masculine energy here trying to have a level up in their life or it's a feminine And so instead of jumping back into a relationship or talking to someone else, they're going to keep a very low profile while they go through this breakup. So whoever they're dealing with doesn't try to take all their money, um, doesn't try to sue them. Um, I'm hearing defamation of character. It feels like a very bad breakup. It's giving like Jonathan Majors energy where to the public eye it appears one way but there's so much to, to a story that that just a, isn't adding up and in between the both of them you'll never know who's telling the truth and who's lying so it's like he's his word against her word her word against his word and um yeah this is someone that wishes they chose the healthier option wishes they they made a better choice this is someone that broke up with you because you were healthier you were a healthier choice mm -hmm. and i don't know why they felt like you were too good for them in some way that's what i'm seeing here you could be a taurus sun moon rising or venus like you were the healthier option the healthier choice all they have with you is good memories. I'm going to be honest with you. This is this is what your spiritual team wants you to know. You chose to love someone unconditionally. To share your happiness with them. Continue working on yourself. Be responsible for your own happiness. Right? And to not um, try to mother this person. Tell them what to do or be controlling however this person even though y'all share some type of soul connection they weren't a vibrational match because they weren't ready right when it comes to they're still attracted to people that stalk them obsess over them go through their phone blow up their phone till they answer they still have like these mommy issues is what i'm seeing here and this person was afraid that you would eventually get sick and tired of them and see that that this is something that they just refuse to work on and you would get fed up with their excuses but then there was someone else that yeah we have um divine masculine in reverse okay so we have masculine energy in reverse very low vibrational and so they in this situation the divine put you in a in a in a dynamic where there was this eligible bachelor, bachelorette, and 
this person had already recovered from some type of breakup took some time to themselves wasn't really really settling down clearing their mind going through some type of ascension they meet you on their journey right and for whatever reason you go off to work on yourself and you're less available right this person felt like it wasn't fair and so in some ways they were hurt by it okay they meet someone else right where they like this person and it's not only about love but it's also because they feel like this person accepts them they're not coming away this person will never leave them and so for whatever reason divine made you cross paths with a past life soulmate that was struggling to learn a lesson about what l true love really is what high vibrational love is supposed to be right and how just because a person accepts your indecision or your your confusion in regards to what you do and don't want doesn't mean that the person is with you for the right reason they may like you right but there's something else about this person about you or this person that would keep them around and so they they get an attachment instead of genuine love instead of healthy love and because they don't have to wonder if that attachment is going to blow their phone up and call them 24 7 they translate that as true love someone that loves them enough to harass them loves them enough to stalk them loves them enough to obsess over them little do they know that it was a spiritual test for them so not only was it a test for them but it was also a test for you whoever this message is for if you're the high vibrational um, collective that I'm speaking for you had you were you were offered a choice as well in this dynamic you could either stay here as well and be like I don't like the circumstances I don't like how I have to settle but I'll just do it because I want this person I want to prove to this person that I love them then you would have been um, enabling this person's descension versus um, being an inspiration for their ascension and so here we are seeing that you're being removed from this dynamic okay because something about this sexual there could have been a sexual tie between this person like you skin to skin contact felt like something was missing mm. somebody was wearing a false mask Some of y'all, this person cheated cheated on whoever they were with, with you. They lied to you. That's what I'm seeing, not for everybody, but for a select few of you. They lied to you about being done with someone or being single. This is someone that was technically in a committed relationship, but they would never tell you that. All right. So now this attachment, whoever this attachment is, can kind of sense that this person is in love with someone else this masculine is in love with someone else that they're distant that they are um they have a wandering eye they're no longer able to satisfy this person they want something higher they want something more and i feel like this person is about to reach out to you they're going to have some type of aha moment they want more intimacy they're going to tell you that they don't talk to that person anymore so forth and so on so spirit what do you want my collective to know in regards to this situation because i feel like this person is coming they coming around the mountain when they come i'm hearing bang bang You may be in the middle of trying to contemplate if you should block or unblock someone, if you should 
reach out to them or not reach out to them. That's this person pulling on your energy. Keeping you in limbo. That's this person. Yeah. So all this person's tricks is being revealed to you. This person also knows that you know that you have gotten your energy up. You have seen the truth for what it is. You gave yourself peace and clarity. Huh. But you this person is still refusing to give you the truth. Like they're still re they're still refusing to give you the truth even though you've given it to yourself. Even though you figured out things by yourself, they they still don't want to tell you it out of their own mouth. And the reason why they don't want to tell you it out of their own mouth, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in reverse. Is because they're low vibrational. They feel like if they tell you, hey, I ghosted you, hey, I did this because I was talking to someone else, that you would use that as fuel to boss up, go through some type of glow up to ascend, and they will no longer ever... It's like they're too afraid to walk away from this, let this situation die out or play out where they end up on the side of the fence where one day you're sitting on a couch having an interview about a guy or a girl that you used to like that played you for a fool. Meanwhile, you're wealthy, happy, and in a healthy relationship. They, they some way, somehow, in an intuitive way, they feel like that's going to be you one day. Like one day you're going to be well known. One day so many people are going to want you. And they're going to have to play that role of being the fool that dropped the ball when it came to you. And so to avoid that transitioning, that transition from happening, they prefer staying attached to you. And you are picking up their energetic attachments whoever they talk to whoever they have skin to skin contact with conversations with you're picking up on those lower vibrations trying to figure out energetically spiritually who you are in the spirit mm -hmm. like who's that guy who's that girl in your energy so there's a three-way call there's a three-way connection that's happening and the common denominator between both these two fragments, um, between these fragments and you, is the masculine energy in this situation. Okay? So before you allow this person to come back into your life, to lie to you again, you're going to have to give yourself the closure that you know you desire. Because the, the, the Ace of Swords in reverse is saying that even though you know the truth, this person is not going to give it to you by words. And so you're going to have to receive it from this type of message. You're going to have to receive that clarity from, from a higher power, your spiritual team. Because as long as you're trying to get over this person and you feel like you haven't gotten that closure, you're going to keep hitting these tower moments. Okay? Okay back on a roller coaster not feeling like yourself and so you're being asked to run run far far away from this person there's no need to flex on this person um six of wands they're your biggest hater i'm gonna be honest with you Six of Wands in reverse is saying that this person wouldn't necessarily care so much about you moving on if they didn't feel like you would get some like public recognition, attention, it has something to do with your status, Seven of Pentacles. And so why would they stop talking to you? Why would they block you? Why would they draw a boundary? Why would they want that? As long as there's an open line of communication between the two of you, they feel like they can slide in when you get to a point where you your life mirrors the type of double life that they want to live, okay? They may have asked you things like, oh, do you still work at that job? Do you still do what you do creatively? Are you still involved with this and that? They were scoping the scenery out, five of wands, to see if you are conflicted or unsure about your beliefs or what it is that you do. 
This person has deep-rooted insecurities, but they would never admit it. And they ultimately, genuinely do not want to see you happy. You could have picked up on this a long time ago. But because of the type of spiritual connection you guys have, the similarity, it's like, well, why would that person look at me that way? Or why would they treat me that way? We have so much in common. We have so much compatible. And I feel like it's because this person knows on some soul, some soul level that it's either you or them. It's either they take you down or you take them down. You're a prophecy in this person's life. Nothing more, nothing less. You're a karmic prophecy. And I don't think you you realize just how much people could tell you that they love you all day but their actions the actions that they take speaks so much louder than their words because a person that not only loves you but also likes you even on the bad days they wouldn't be looking for a way out. You know what I'm saying? Even when you're having a bad day, they wouldn't be flipping it, projecting it, and reversing it to make it about them. They would want to show up for you because they like you. They would want to offer solutions because they like you. Because a lot of times people can hold on to other people by just saying... Well, the reason why I don't block them or I don't start talking to them is because I love them, right? We do it with family all the time. You may not like your family, but you love them. And so you tolerate them, you deal with them and all their bullshit. But if you actually liked the family members that you're around, like the romantic partners that you're around, um, there would be less, less karmic experiences where it's fake love fake flexing just trying to rub shit into each other's faces and all types of low vibrational things you would feel energized versus depleted you wouldn't feel like you have to constantly walk away and rejuvenate yourself because that conversation with that person was depleted that that dating that you know those text messages were depleted that outing was 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 depleting you wouldn't feel like that so a lot of things are falling. You're breaking up with a lot of people, places, and things. And this is the season for it. And Spirit is asking you to give yourself permission to accept that certain certain ones of these connections will not work. And to spare you heartbreak and pain and resentment. Stand ten toes down on the boundaries that you set. And um, you're going to get a, a smooth ride right past these next few phases, especially through uh, what they call it, boo season. OK, winter season where everybody and their mama looking for somebody that's willing to walk through the, the cold, catch an Uber and a lift through the winter just to jump in the bed with them. You don't ever got to go outside because nobody wants to go outside when it's cold outside. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for whoever it's meant to resonate for. <clears throat> I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.